Live Station. Welcome to Live Station. Hold your busy steps. Feel real life. Stop forty one. Treasure. A little bird told me that some Taiwanese could lead one happy day by just spending one U.S. dollars in Taiwan. It's really hard to believe at the beginning. After moving to the mountains, I started to believe this is true. Anti-flea project continues in the morning. After washing for dogs, cleaning up dog shit, and spraying flea pesticide, it's almost ten. Quiet forest life really makes time disappear without any trail. I filter black soil dug from the woods with plasters sifter. Quite embarrassed, I rub the weeds. Along the wood path of the black soil. Six to seven years ago, when former landlord paved the cement road, these roadside weeds, based on their perseverance, overwhelming that of humankind, bravely regrab the road day by day. The black soil is the trophy. I dig away these brave weeds. They really force me to. Who the heaven makes the soil they grab tight so fertile? It turns out to be much of the soil comes from the weeds themselves after they die and get rotten. Nature really goes on itself ever and ever. Weeds of last generation die; their bodies become fertile humus. Then their descendants spring up from the fertile human soil, which makes offsprings grow strong again. Generation after generation, which generation doesn't grow up on development of the last generation's efforts? Who can invent themselves out of the gap of time? The worst pity. Is that offspring cannot maintain the legacy, only to corrupt themselves and to generate, annihilating all the efforts of their numerous ancestors. Though it's not uncommon in history that the offspring ruin ancestors' efforts, any responsible guys are not happy to see it happen. After putting the sifted dark soil into styrofoam boxes, picked up back from traditional markets, I'm awfully surprised. What on earth is the reason to buy cultivation soil and fertilizer? The natural treasure has fully already cultivated many and many unpolluted, beautiful vegetables. With only these vegetables. Half of the food problem has been solved. It's really surprising that the wild and wild forest should be so rich. Looking at green vegetables, scallions and basil's on styrofoam boxes, I cannot be too thankful for the marvelous greenness. All because this is the harvest and devil just during some short months of work. Back to the kitchen, putting dry dishes into the cupboard. A surprising discovery: there are tens of pails of chopsticks, dozens of cups, tens of dishes, and dozens of bowls. While using only one pair of chopsticks, one cup. And one dish this morning. Many of these dining tools are brand new and have never been used. Why do I have the rush to buy new ones during every shopping? It turns out to be that some kind of unstoppable greed treats me as a puppet behind to make me fall into the trap of profligacy. More than I can think. While changing dresses, 
except some of them I often wear. More than ten times of clothes are ones I never wore. Why should I let them occupy the room space, which is much more expensive? Many people think their houses are not big enough, and they forever need one more room. As to pay gigantic cost to buy a necessary bigger house, just for storing these unnecessary clothing and stuff. Alas, it turns out to be a game. I'm so rich while so squandering. It's so clear that I'm so greedy every time I purchase useless stuff. Why can't and won't I give this useless stuff to those needed? This is not alms giving, but making things do their parts. Mankind loves selfishness, and living beings love too. However, in this enormous universe, too much selfishness brings numerous misfortunes and unfairness. It's all because, while seeing charity in our deep part, we care only us. Not a bit of you and them. Where is in the world unselfishness? Just in the invisible dreamland. The economic recession in Taiwan this time makes many can't live, living suicide on the rise. As a matter of fact, in comparison with those refugees under fire. Do Taiwanese have the right not to live on? Squandering people in a rich country, how do they know their riches will lead themselves go through several recessions, depending only on whether they can change their luxurious living habits by cherishing what they have already had? Everything in the forest is treasure. Treasures are everywhere, totally depending on if one can and will utilize them. The lovely sound of insects and birds, happy cute children, greenish woods, and the falling mist from far away, are leading mountaineers looking down the hill. It turns out to be, everywhere down the hill are treasures too. Wishing you safe, healthy, and happy. Thank you for your watching and subscription.